Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are back with episode 8 now for our FIFA 22 Aston Villa career. As you can see, we're coming towards the January transfer deadline day. And hopefully we're going to try and get at least a player or two before the window closes. I wasn't even thinking of getting anyone. So we lost to Manchester United and Everton in the last episode. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link that episode down below as well as the end of the video so you guys can check that out. Definitely give that a watch. We also got you to the next stages of the FA Cup in the last episode against QPR. And now we have the round four coming up against Blackburn. So I'm looking forward to it. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. Smash a like in this video. And let's get this episode going. All right, so let's take a look at our calendar here. We do have Blackburn coming up. And then there's Leeds United and Newcastle in the league. Uh, I might play those games and then probably sim the rest of these other games here. Yeah, probably will do that one. Uh, I do. So we have 55.5 million to spend. Uh, we can adjust that. We can adjust that. I need to get a player in. There's a few players that I've been looking at. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go to the transfer hobby. I'll show you guys. George Conde, I definitely want to get for center backs. Uh, as soon as we lose to Ansebi after the loan ends, we're going to either try and get George Conde or Militao. Uh, they're both around the same age, both really similar. Conde is a little bit higher than him. Uh, but they both have pace, very aggressive, good center backs. If we get some European football next season, we can try and get at least one of these two guys. And then um, obviously Donny van der Beek. Why not? Why not get van der Beek in that midfield? alongside McGinn or alongside Douglas Luiz. He'll be absolute done. You know what? We're going to try and get him first. And then once we lose to Ansebi, we can get one of these two guys. We also might need a left back for Target because I'm don't really i not really sure about Target. 51. Let's see if we can get Donny. Look, the guy can play anyway. He has 75 defense. He should be fine. He should be fine. We have our first son, our first signing, Donny van der Beek, getting their Ming's transfer offer. Reject that. Look, we got a few players we can sell, like Agazi for 10 million. We can get rid of these guys, right? Will I ever play Agazi? I'm just going to accept that for now, honestly. Agazi doesn't really get any chances. We're going to accept that. We're going to accept that, but we're going to try and get rid of some players next season and try and get a proper center back because once we lose to Ansebi, uh, that's pretty much it for us here. I don't really trust Konsa like that. Ukraine offer interest for... Ooh, Liverpool are going to get Konde, aren't they? See, as soon as I try and look for players, someone's going to come and scoop them up. Ugh! House. There we go. I'm, I'm accepting any cash we can get now. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get rid of players. We've got to build a strong team. But let's go ahead and get this one going. Blackburn coming up here. Look at that team. Uh, how do I feel about these kits? I kind of like that Blackburn kit. I think there's a little bit of click cash clash going on. Oh, they're both just so bad. We'll go with that one. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, don't know much on their team, but we should be expecting a win here. Donnie gets his first start. And let's get this game underway. <laughs> the boy makes his debut, okay? He wanted to leave in the summer. Only going to social block the move. So we got him. We got him in the generate transfer window. Look at that. His tip was already out there. He's already the face for this game. Donny van der Beek makes his debut, boys. Get in there. Look at that. Look at that picture of your boy, Donny. <laughs> oh, let's go. I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully, we can get a good performance from him here. And this first half is underway. We'll tackle in there from Minx. Twan Sebi. Donny van der Beek. Lovely pass to Emiliano Buendia. What a pass. Leon Bailey could be in. It's Bailey gets in there. What a pass by Emiliano Buendia. And Leon Bailey puts Aston Villa up 1-0. Oh, they're flying out here at Villa Park. Get in there, boys. We're taking this effort cup very seriously. Very, very seriously. That's some bad results in the last episode. But looking to turn those around. Lovely true pass. Gets on his bike. Controls it and what a finish by Leon Bailey. What a player. 1 0. Get in there, boys. Leon Bailey. Still with Bailey. Still with Bailey. Leon Bailey has it. Cross comes in. Oh, what a goal. What happened there? Why did it switch? I, I, why? 
Oh, what a cross. Emiliano. Buendia. What a goal. I don't know why that game skipped that goal there, but we'll take it. <laughs> oh, the goalkeeper is awful, isn't he? Assist by Leon Bailey to Emiliano Buendia. He repays Emiliano for that assist. It's now 2 0 to Aston Villa. We're taking this FA Cup very seriously. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good play. Oh, I tell you what, these boys are all over the place. They are all over the place. He's unselfishly. What a goal. What a goal by Aston Villa. This FA Cup, we are taking it very seriously. It's the only competition we probably have a chance to win this season. So we have to keep it going here. And we have torn Blackburn apart in this first half. Three goals already. Unselfishly by Ings. And that's a lovely goal by Oli Watkins. 3-0 for Aston Villa. How much time added? Adding just one added minute. Emiliano Buendia finds Danny. Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey. Oh, it's deflected. Oh, there goes the fresh half whistle. 3 0 at, a break, at the break. What a debut so far from Donny Van der Beek. He can tackle, he can pass. He has the strength, the body, the balance, everything. But so far, it's been Emiliano Buendia there with a goal and an assist. He and Bailey are running the show. Oh, I hope we face Redding. You know, Redding looks like a good team. We're 3 0 up, boys. Should we just make some changes? Douglas Luis can come in. Give Donny Van der Beek a rest. Rest Emiliano Buendia. Bring Ramsey in. Uh, should we play Sanson or Triore? Sanson comes in. Oh, I don't want to play Leon Bailey too much as well. But McGinn is fine. So we bring on we bring we bring on we bring on Triore for Bailey. What 3 0 up? We should be seeing this game out regardless. And the second half is underway here. Travis Rothwell. Good interception there by Matty Cash. Finds Triore. We'll play whatever you want to between him and Ings. It's Triore. This goal could be it. Triore cuts it back. Gramsci gets in there. The youngster comes and he gets a goal. Let's go. 4 0. That should be the game now. That should be the game. Jordan Ramsey. Oh, he said, I'm carrying you guys. Not really. <laughs> Lovely celebration, however. Look at the pace here. It's all because of that one two from Danny Yanks. Cuts it back. One time hit. This goalkeeper. I mean, he gets his hand to all the charts, probably, but he cannot keep it out. It's now 4 0 for Aston Villa. Lovely switch up play. Dolan. He keeps it in. Can he get past Target? Good strength from him. Goes back. Pose. Go save. Good block. It's still in there for Blackburn. They draw one back. And Aston Villa cannot keep a clean sheet. Oh, who scored that? McBride? Come on, boys. We got to do better there. The cross comes in. Martinez makes a great save. Then he blocks it. Oh, well, Minx blocks it. And then Tuan Sebi again. I, I can't wait till he goes back to Manchester United. I mean, he's a good center back, but come on. 4 1. Two added minutes. Dolan makes way. It's now Pavida. Oh, Pavida. Wasn't he on like Wolves or something? Oh, let's go, Ramsey. Let's go, Ramsey. Oh, referee feels sorry for them. And he blows the whistle early here. And Aston Villa wins it 4 1. Good performance here. Well played, team. I think that the signing of Donny Van der Big may have just given us the boost we need to, to progress to the next stages here. I mean, to finish up the season. But honestly, honestly, still a long season. Still a long season. We haven't really faced anyone um, good since we got Donny. So now it's the time now for him to show himself. Why are we back out of 69, boys? 69. What is our progress? Take a look at our objectives here. Sign four youth players. We didn't do that. Signed two players from South America. We did not do that either. And um, we already reached a round of 16 of the FA Cup. So we have to finish in a European spot. I think once we do that, we should be fine. We should be fine. But it's not looking good, boys. 69 ratings. We could be could be getting a sack. Um, but if we win our games, you know, we, we can still get to that sixth place. But we're 10 points off Everton in fifth. We have to start winning games now. We really have to start winning games. Um, that's the Leeds team. They're playing a 4-1, 4-1. Bamford, Dan James, Harrison, Forshaw, Phillips, Wagner. I mean, that's a good team. That's a damn good team. But I'm looking forward to this game. We're well rested as well. And let's get this one going.
He's in such top form, isn't he? <laughs> but we're at Villa Park after that. Well, I would say a pretty good win. Uh, that was the first time we got a comfortable win in the in the, se in the season a long, long time. So that that four one victory was pretty good. Hopefully, we can at least get a win. I cannot believe we're ten points off fifth place. Ten points. It's so hard. I, I can see why we're, we're, our manager ratings have dropped. There's the star player of the of the season, Donny Van der Beek. The Donny boy is here. And hopefully he can produce today because we need a massive win here against Leeds United. And let's get this game going, boys. The first half commences. Lovely switch of play to Phillips. Good skills. Bamford. Target. Cuts it back. Oh my goodness. It's a goal for Leeds United. And it comes from Patrick Bamford. We're not playing at our best here, boys. Come on, we're struggling in the league so far. And Patrick Bamford with a goal. That's a lovely strike there from the striker. Good passing here from Leeds United. As soon as they kick off, they just kept on going. Oh, no one could get close to them. Terrible, terrible defending there. We concede again. Unbelievable. It's 1-0 to Leeds United. Oh, Dan James. Dan James has had cash on toast here. I've never seen someone really... Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the cash we know. McGinn, Watkins, Emiliano Buendia. Come on, boys. Watkins, still Watkins. Good skills, good skills. It's Oli Watkins. Leon Bailey gets in there. One one, one one. We tied it right on the stroke of halftime, or it's not at the stroke of halftime, but forty minutes in, and we leveled it here. Leon Bailey with a goal. All comes from Watkins. Look at this run from him. Powerful run, strong, spacey, strength, everything in there. Oh, what a re what a rebound by Leon Bailey! He doesn't miss down the empty net. There, it's now one one. Game on. Good tackle in there from Axel Twansebi. Finds Donny Van der Beek. Go, go pass from Donny. All you Watkins, come on Watkins, get in the box. Just just go for a goal. There's nothing on. Oh, there's nothing on. Just go for a goal and Oli Watkins smashes that pass. Messler. In the back of the net to put Aston Villa up 2-1. He's been threatening this whole game. And he finally gets his goal. Lovely true pass. He takes a one touch in there. Nothing on. He just gets his head down and smashes that pass. The goalkeeper. Only Watkins with a goal. And it's now 2-1 for Aston Villa. What a comeback. Patrick Bamford goes out wide to Dan James. So far, it's been a good matchup between Dan James and Matty Cash. What a tackle. Emiliano Buendia. Play from Buendia. McGinn. Still McGinn. Still McGinn. Still McGinn. Still McGinn. Oh, what a goal by John McGinn. That run was absolutely Ronaldo esque. The number seven for Aston Villa posts them up 3 1. They have a two goal cushion now. What a comeback. What a comeback by the Lions. Look at this. Lovely run. Just kept on running his left foot. No one can close him down. And he just smashes that in the back of the net as well. Lovely finish there. And it's now 3-1. Get in there, boys. Don James. Cross comes in. And uh, back. Uh, oh, there we go. Glue clearance there. What a clearance by Axel Twansebe. Oh, my goodness. What a goal by Rodrigo. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, I, they, they know how to strike a ball. The ultimate AI is so clinical. I mean, they're very difficult to play. Look at this. One touch, bang. He already knew what he was going to do. It was already written in his coding. <laughs> Took a touch and he smashes that pass. Martinez, what a lovely strike. It's now 3-2. What a game here. It's not over yet. Three out a minute. What a pass. What a pass. Watkins cuts it back. What? Oh, you can see who you're trying to lay off for. Bamford. Rafinha. Still with Rafinha. Two minutes already gone from the three minutes. It's now a shackle thing. Are they going to get up the field? No, they can't. It ends 3-2 for Aston Villa. They finally get a win in the Premier League after two back-to-back -back losses. And I think a draw as well. They finally bounce back with a win. Oh, what a lovely goal there from McGinn. And what a comeback. Donny van der Beek, he was good. But oh, Manchester United lost. Arsenal drew. 
So that's good for us. We closed the gap on Manchester United. Uh, we're still eighth in the Premier League. We're not really up there. We're not really up there with your evidence, but we gotta get up there to, six, to at least sixth place. You know, we gotta get up there to sixth place. But we're, we're still we're so far back. There's still a lot of games to be played. 16 goals for Danny Ings, 16 for Mo Salah. And we have Newcastle coming up. You know, I was gonna sim these games, but there's really no point in simming these games now. We're we're not really playing good. We gotta get another win. We gotta get another win. Let's get this other game going here. If we get another win in this, in this episode, that'll be exactly what's needed. Um I'm gonna do something that hasn't been done yet. I'm gonna give Emiliano Bondia a rest. Play Donny Van der Beek up there and play um, Douglas. I'm not even gonna change it. I'm not even gonna change We've been playing well since we got Donny. I am not changing it. We're keeping it exactly how it is. That's a Newcastle team. They're playing a 5-3-2 with um, Joe Linton and Gay up there. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get this one going. At the same James bar. Ooh, it's looking like a, a sunny day a little bit here at the St. James Park as we take on Newcastle away from home. We've been good so far. We won in the um, M FA Cup and we won finally in the league against Leeds United. It wasn't easy, but we came from behind a 1-3-2. And now we're looking to get another victory on the bounce here. It's going to be a difficult game. We're feeling confident. And this first half is underway here. We're tackling from Axel Twansebi. Let's go, Donny. Shows his strength. Oh, oh, Ings. Bailey. Still with Bailey. He needs runners. He needs helpers. Megan. Oh! We've seen another excellent goal from John McGinn. This guy is special. Since he's getting um, Donny van der Beek, he just got the license to go forward and he gets forward and he gets another goal here. Good play here. Good patient from Aston Villa. Cuts it back. One touch at the edge of the box. And what a strike. No one can close him down in time. He's giving time. He's giving space. And he punishes them. Look at that. Top corner. Goalkeeper cannot save that. It's past the Brovka before he can even get there. It's now 1-0 to Aston Villa. How much time are they adding to this game? One at a minute. Now it's Joel Linton. Aiden, back to Willock, back to Hendricks, and there goes the first half whistle. Good performance so far from Aston Villa. They are taking a 1 0 lead into the break after a lovely strike from no one else but John McGinn. He's been in excellent form in these past two games now. Two goals, it looks like, in the two games. Liverpool are losing to Burnley. Bloody Burnley gets in there. Manchester City are tied as well. And Chelsea play Arsenal later on. Oh my goodness. We could be closing the gap here, boys. Hopefully, we can end up with a victory here. And the second half is underway. Oh, Cash. Good job. Good hold up play that from Cash. Good play. Watkins. Oli. Oh, blocked. It's out for a corner kick. Cross comes in. That's a good cross. Axel Twansebe, he said enough of it, you've been talking about me a lot, you want to get rid of me, I'm on loan to help you out here, and he comes and he gets a goal to put us up 3-1, a two goal cushion, a lovely header there by Axel Twansebe, get in there boys, look at this cross, cross comes in, perfect cross there from Cash, he fights for that, Dubrov got stood, no chance on that, Get in there, boys. Actually, 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two nil, not 3-1. 2-0 nil here for Aston Villa. Come on. Go tackle in from Target. Triore. Can he find Watkins? He can. Still with Ollie Watkins. Still with Watkins. Lovely true pass. Donny van der Beek will get his first goal. It's Donny van der Beek, and he's won it for Aston Villa. Donny. Donny cool. Donny. Donny cool. <laughs> Let's go. Donny Van der Beek with a goal. Oh, lovely true pass from Ollie Watkins. He sets himself and what a strike there from Donny Van der Beek. He puts Aston Villa up 3-0. What a performance here from the boys. Good tackle in there from Targe. Three added minutes to this game. See, why did I three minutes? This is what I don't understand. Louise. Oh, Donny couldn't get there in time. Debravka kicks it in. It's won by Douglas Luiz. 
Good play here from Watkins. And there goes the full-time whistle. Get in there, boys. 3-0 victory for Aston Villa. Well-deserved. Good performance here from the team. Donny van der Beek gets his goal finally. And we're up and running, boys. I tell you what, he's been a bright spark to this team so far. Donny van der Beek, you know, he's not really doing too much. Oh, Burnley beat Liverpool 2-1. Get in there, bloody Burnley. You bloody Burnleys, get in there. Let's go, boys. That pushes us up to 8th now. 41 points. We're just a point. We're just a point now below Manchester United and four points now below Arsenal. We're getting up to that face, but we gotta keep it consistent. Gotta keep it going, boys. Our manager rating is terrible. It's 67. But we have to keep getting some wins. But go ahead and stop here for now. We have White for Brighton and FA Cup game as well. So hopefully we can get some wins. We'll stop here for now. Thank you for watching again. I'll bring the next episode coming very, very soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.